Alright, so you want to do some multi-track recording into the playlist in FL Studio. First thing I would say to do is go to your audio settings, make sure the buffer length in your ACO panel is at 128 samples or less. This prevents any kind of uh, very distracting delay while you're monitoring your recording. So what you want to do is you want to view your mixer, and assuming you already have all your inputs plugged in, First, I'm going to mute my master track. This is not part of the real example, but if I start activating inputs, it's going to generate some feedback. So assuming you have everything plugged in where you want it, I'm just going to be using the stock microphone that comes with my laptop for this example, because it picks up as three separate inputs. So we're going to assume that this is one microphone. Now you can see that it's picking up. This is a second microphone or input. This is the third one, and I'm assigning them each to their own insert channel, and they're all picking up. Now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go down to the ARM disk recording button, which is this whole row of each channel. You're going to double right click, not left click, but double right click to deactivate and then reactivate it, but with a pop-up window that names whatever input that you're recording. That way it doesn't give you this generic type of file that can easily be lost and, and then you'll never be able to find it again because you don't know what it's saved as. So this gives you the opportunity to save it as whatever you want. So let's say you're recording a guitar, singer, and pianist. You'll do a guitar for one of them. Double right click again, it pops up. Piano for another one. Double right click. Vocals, and then after that step, everything's recording, looks like you're good to go. All you do is you hit the record button and hit the second option that says audio into the playlist as an audio clip. As soon as you click that, it starts recording. So then, if I go to uh, the playlist, you won't actually see the files being generated right now. But once you stop the recorder, there they are, nice and neat, guitar, piano, vocals, named whatever you called it, as many tracks as you can handle on your CPU, uh, and there you have it. I hope this helps.